Hello everyone and welcome to part 3 of our Russia Olympic journey. I have good news and bad news. The good news is we did make it into the first round of the FA Cup after a 2-1 victory against Alfreton. That means we now play Maidenhead in the FA Cup first round who currently sit 15th in the Vanarama National League. So who knows? we might actually be able to pull off a result here and get into that second round. The other good news is I've made another signing. I've brought in Cameron Thomas from Cray. He's a striker. Not the best stats, but it was needed. Danny Waldron unfortunately picked up an injury, which meant he was out for around three weeks, which meant we fell short in our striking department. With this new striker coming in though, it does mean we are now over the wage budget, but only by £197 per week. And here's how we line up for that game against Maidenhead. The only big thing to note here is Vine does come in as our striker as our new signing Thompson is cup tied. According to the odds, we are underdogs coming into this, which is understandable. Can we pull off a cup upset? A half with not many highlights, despite what the stats are saying. I'd call this pretty even, so let's get into the second half and see if we can nick that winner. But we do, unfortunately, go 1-0 down from a Maidenhead corner. Kinsella out to the edge of the box. And it's finished off into that top left-hand corner. We've got some work to do now. And the lads have found a response through Andre Landell, who receives this on the left-hand side. Cuts in on the inside and it's 1-1 with 10 minutes to go. And that is full time. We did manage to pull that goal back and we finish 1-1. And it's another replay. I think that's the third in a row now. But as always, it's actually an opportunity to bring them back to our place. And fingers crossed, we advance into that second round. And the FA Cup second round has been drawn. And with that, there is actually a potential to play local lads Walsall who are currently sat 20th in League 2 but first we have to beat Maidenhead I wish I'd recorded that game now against Maidenhead in the English FA Cup first round because Danny Waldron in the 117th minute in extra time only went and scored and pulled off the winner didn't he despite the stats it was actually a boring game not many highlights a nil nil after 90 minutes but we do proceed also I still yet to play their game against Accrington so I'll let you know to see which one of these we're going to face in the next round but for now we have got a league game against Boston United our league form has dipped slightly with two draws in our last two games we do still sit first in the league we are currently level on points with Peterborough Sports but we do have two games in hand so let's make those two games count. And here's how we line up for that game against Boston. Hudson on the left, Oki on the right, Softly and Alex in the middle, Rowan Mantum in the middle, Coil and Vine on either wing, Gosling sat just behind Thompson, our new signing. As a last minute change, I've ended up going for Waldron. I guess that winner against Maidenhead does give him that start ahead of Thompson. But Thompson has been doing well. Three goals in five appearances for us now. As Boston do go 1-0 up through Knowles. Pretty evenly matched so far with just the one goal in it. Can we look to equalise before we go in at half time? As Gosling collects it here. Can he slip this through to someone? He can't. He takes a shot. It's just over. We go into the break 1-0 down. And to be honest I'm not happy about this. So our shooting's not been good enough. And we need to improve. Let's get them back out there. I think it's time for some of that firepower I was talking about. And let's get Thompson on. We'll go two up top and see if that makes a difference. And it looks like we do have a penalty. I think it was Waldron who was brought down. It might have been Thompson actually. But it is Waldron to take. Can he level us? He can. Right, let's go for the winner here. I feel like we definitely deserve this. I've gone for the world's weirdest formation here to accommodate everyone. But we have some serious firepower on now. But it doesn't pay off. 
all that firepower and we end it with our third straight draw this time 1-1 against Boston and with that draw it does see a slip into second place we do still have two games in hand though and we are only one point behind Chorley and for the last two games of the video we'll face Alfreton in the league and then we'll play that game against Walsall in the FA Cup here's a team I'm going with and a slightly different formation I have been playing around with the formation after we dipped in form and this one seems to be working so we'll go with this today gone with Thompson up front for this one with Vine and Coyle supporting him on the wing let's see if that makes a difference in today's game we do come forward here on the 18th minute Thompson out to green he pings it in the middle but nobody's there to collect other than the goalkeeper but the highlight has continued it's through today and he puts Alfreton 1-0 up time and time again we seem to be going 1-0 down and then I have to make some changes and we do eventually either pull it back to a draw or we do get a rare late win but we'll get to half time we'll see where we stand before we make any sort of drastic changes as Alfreton come again from a free kick it's Waldock standing over this they've hit the crossbar and then Hiddleston he tips that over and finally a highlight for us Coyle with the corner he whips it in Hudson there it's wide and we go into the break 1-0 down a few changes made a tweak in the tactic let's see if we can salvage something got a long ball over here to Thompson can he level us he can it's 1-1 and I'd say that's game on now as we're only in the 65th minute it's a long ball over by Rowe Thompson's on the run you think he might pass it across he doesn't he finishes it off we might be in again here as Mayer might collect this on the edge he does can we we can it's Thompson he's in there again for his second goal of the game I thought Mayer was actually going to put that away at first but he's dispossessed luckily it falls onto Thompson who's lurking in around that area 2-1 with eight minutes to go I've dropped this down to balance now bit of time wasting let's see if we can see out this game because a 2-1 victory here would be great and we can't hold on to that victory as Day gets his second of the game the shot first pings off the crossbar and Day's there to follow it up as it pings off both posts and that is looking like full time 2-2 it doesn't affect our lead position at all we still have that one game in hand 46 points on the board two ahead of Scarborough just when you thought this game against Warsaw wasn't difficult as it is we go into this game with two goalkeepers and two actual players the rest are players I'm guessing allocated to us by the game because we don't have enough to fill the bench and that's because we've got Oki suspended Mantum injured Rowe and Waldron suspended Mayer can't play against his parent club and Thompson who's cup tied so we have a new goal let's not get beat 5-0 and we're off straight into a highlight two minutes in our Warsaw going to start their onslaught of goals and luckily that one's being ruled offside it's been quiet here for 40 minutes Walsall do have six shots with one on target but it does look like we're going into the break nil nil I think we'll keep the shape as it is at the minute we're currently set to cautious hoping to hit them on the counter but let's see what this second half brings something I forgot to mention as well is the next round has been drawn and whoever wins this game has drawn Hull at home but as it stands it looks like it will be Walsall who will be going ahead and facing Hull in that next round as we do go 1-0 down so we're approaching the 85th minute here still 1-0 to Walsall nothing much has happened I think it looks like we're going to have to accept this 1-0 defeat which to be fair is a result they are two leagues above us at the start of the game I did say our goal was to not get beat 5-0 and we've achieved that yes we're out of the cup but I think we've had a decent run and with that defeat to Walsall, it is time to end this video. I'll bring you back somewhere around January, midway through the season, 
we're still in a strong position yes we've dropped down to third but we do have two games in hand something i didn't mention is we have also been knocked out of the fa trophy this game went to penalties and as you can see it took 30 penalties in total to decide this one and if i'm honest once mayor had missed i was pretty glad but the supporters certainly got their money's worth but as always thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one